let's train a YOLO v4 classifier and not an object detector. So to train a YOLO v4 classifier, I have a toy data set. The toy data set has two classes, which are bird and forest. So I have downloaded some forest images and some bird images. And each of the file name would have the class name after an underscore. That's how the YOLO wants the file name to be in order to train a classifier. I have Darknet installed on my PC. If you don't have Darknet installed on your PC, you can follow the videos on the YouTube video by TechZizu on how to install Darknet on Linux and on Windows. So once you have uh, okay, done that, so uh, I'll go into my Darknet folder in data and then there is another folder called OBJ and in OBJ I'll just paste all of my files. I'll create four files, this classify OBJ, uh, classify OBJ, classify test, classify train. So what are present in these files? So for example, classify OBJ would tell you, okay, you want to train two classes where your training images would be given by this file and your validation images would be given by the file stored in this text file. Then labels are present. I'll show you what's that. And backup is where you want to store the weights after training. And top is means that the accuracy which you want, top two accuracy, top five accuracy, top one accuracy. It's a standard, pretty standard uh, metric for image classification. So the next classify OBJ would have the names of your classes and classify test would have the path of the files which you want to use for testing. Similarly, classify train would have uh, the path with, for the images which you want to use as training. So once you have that, you can download uh, YOLO, the Darknet 53 weights, which were trained on ImageNet. If you want to use transfer learning, if you don't want to use transfer learning or fine tuning, you can train it from scratch. You also need a CFG file. So in CFG file, you can download darknet53.cfg from the GitHub repo of uh, YOLO v4. In darknet53, it's this darknet53 CFG is for training an ImageNet. While you have, while the ImageNet has thousand classes, your dataset has only two classes. So I'll just create a copy and name it as darknet 53 underscore bird. And in this word, I will just modify a few parameters according to my dataset. So you see that uh, the height and the width of the images are 256. So if your images are not in this order, you just uh, resize your images. It should be pretty simple. And then you would modify the max batches. So max batches are the number of iterations over which your uh, YOLO v4 would run. So you just modify it to say 500, 1000, whatever you want. And uh, another parameter that you would modify is at the last which is the filters. So initially this filters was 1000. So you have to change it to the number of classes, which is two in my case. Once you have done that, uh, I have this, I've created a text file of a storing command so that it becomes easier. So, okay. So this command is for training and classify from scratch. You can take a screenshot of this text file if you want to use it. Okay. So I am training a darknet classifier where the training data is given by classify obj data, which I've already shown you. And the CFG is given by darknet 53 underscore bird dot CFG, which we just created. And this would train it from scratch. So when we are using from scratch, so I'll do just copy this. I'll go to my uh, darknet folder. I'll open a command prompt here and I'll play this command and I'll press enter and it will start training. Okay, and once it has done that, so my weights would be stored in this folder and which you can use for your prediction. So it's pretty simple how you train for, how to use a darknet YOLO for classification and not for our detection. So it's pretty simple. If you have any doubt, you can comment and I'll check them out. Thank you.